All right, guys, shout out to back with another YouTube video. The scenery's a little different, but doesn't matter. I mean, as you guys can see, though, like my mom got over here, look like the botanical gardens. Probably pronounced that wrong, but you know, it's whatever. It's. And yeah, I call her Poison Ivy. She got so much plants around this house. But you know what? Today we are gonna be looking at the new Spider-Man Far From Home trailer. <sighs> so excited. Cause this is really like a, in a way it's somewhat connected to Avengers Endgame. And if you didn't see the movie, spoiler ahead because I clicked on the video, didn't watch the whole trailer. But I clicked on it just to see if there was an ad to skip past it. And Tom Holler himself, who plays Spider-Man, said, if you haven't seen Endgame, then what you call it, don't don't watch the video. So this is a spoiler alert. If you continue with this video, you watch it under your own will. If you haven't seen Avengers Endgame, I mean, it's been a week. So if you haven't seen Endgame, then um, you know, you're know you really <sighs> losing it. Something's wrong with you. You need to get help. You need to speak to a therapist. Well, anyways, let's get straight to this video. I took like a whole minute and 29 seconds of the intro. That's bad. Let's get straight to it. The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching this up because there's bit. some serious spoilers about to come up. But if you have seen Avengers Endgame, enjoy the trailer. Everywhere I go, I see his face. Just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. You going to be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your job. Oh! Keep up the good work because I am going on vacation. Heads up. Nick Fury's calling you. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. The phone. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> you sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. What up, Darks? What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo. Oh, I think MJ really likes me. That reminds me when I first fell in love. You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider-Man. This is Mr. Beck. We could use someone like you on my world. New world? Beck is from Earth, just not ours. A snap to our hole in our dimension. You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do. You're coming with us. There's gotta be someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. But who's the friendly neighborhood Spider Man? Bench, please. You've been to space. The no outfit. I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider-Man. No, of course not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You're right. You may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. I thought he was bad. I thought he was bad. I was bad. I've always felt like I put my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? Whoa, come on, don't do this to me. Stop showing the Iron Man. Okay, we just finished watching the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer. All right, there's some things I want to talk about. I have to talk about it. Yo, one, the Iron Man, the show, yo. Gosh, I don't even know where to start. All right, well, yeah, we're starting with Iron Man. It's just sad. Like, you see like, his face and everything. He was like, everywhere I go, I see his face. Oh, my God. Yo. He was like, I miss him. Nah. Hold on, all right. The second thing I want to 
puts tabs on. That was funny. When he was with the cops, and then later on, he was like, yeah, I'm too busy doing your jobs. Yo, this guy got no chill. And with MJ, I swear, like, I kind of had a feeling that was MJ from watching, um, I had a feeling that was Mary Jane from watching Spider-Man Homecoming. Yo, she said that she's Spider-Man. It's quite obvious. Yo, I need to see what's going to happen. I need to see what happens. And, like, Mysterio, I just know, I know him to be bad from when I was a kid. Like, he was a part, I think he was part of the Sinister Six. Like, this movie looks like it's going to be good. Honestly, Spider-Man Homecoming, it was, it was I. Right. It wasn't something I would go crazy over like that. It wasn't like, I think it was just more like, bring like another reboot. That's what it felt like. But they got it like, um, what you call it? I guess Tom Holland's first Spider-Man movie. So like the first ones is always like, eh. The second ones is always supposed to be like topping the first one. And this one looks like it's really going to do a great job with topping the first one. And I like the way how they tying this into Endgame somewhat. And I heard they're going to do a Spider-Man Secret Wars, which I'm really, really pumped up about that. Because that needs to happen. From the comics I read this in, and from watching Spider-Man the Animated Series, this needs to happen pronto. Like, I just hate that. I, I hate the fact that I got to wait. I don't like waiting. Like, come on. I want to watch this stuff now. Like, no. No. I need to watch it now. And the Spider-Man suits, and this is valid. I like the fact that he's wearing the uh, Iron Spider suit that Tony made for him. This new Spider-Man suit, like with the like black right here instead of blue. I forgot where I saw this from, but it's pretty dope. And I like, I think that's a stealth outfit he's also wearing. Like it's another, it's like a whole black outfit, but it's hard to explain. But it, it reminded me of Spider-Man Noir. Yo. This movie like it's gonna be pretty good, but I really wonder like who's the villain and how this is gonna work. Like it seems like what you call it, Mysterio is more on the good side and everything, but who knows? Maybe he's might he might turn around. And maybe it might be a trick. It could be a trick. Maybe he's fooling them. You never know. So um, yeah, it looks like it's really gonna be good. It's coming out July second. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go see this. Hopefully, tickets don't run out like like they did for Avengers Endgame. It was hard for me to get tickets. You guys don't understand. Hard. 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 But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, There's probably a little, little details in this I didn't see. But it was just like a reaction that I just... Because I haven't seen this trailer. I saw the other one. Um, So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And smash that bell button. Please. Please. <sighs> Me and Sophia will be back with another YouTube video. Like, right now I'm doing videos by myself until I see Sophia again. It's the big sis. And me and her are going to do a nice, beautiful video for you guys. So stay tuned. I appreciate everyone that's sticking with me right now. I know I'm lacking materials and all that stuff, equipment. But I enjoy. I appreciate the fact that y'all subscribing, y'all liking my videos, someone commented on my public interview. I appreciate that a lot. Like, it really means a lot to me. I really want to do good with this YouTube channel. I'm a huge superhero fanatic, and I hope I get to be on the big screen one day. All right. Peace.